out of time at the moment, but uh, let's see. So we got this tree here, right? This is actually a perfect example uh, on where to use ambient occlusion to, well, make some changes. So ambient occlusion is often used as a dirt um, layer, really. So what you can do is, for example, you have this one. Well, let's just copy the selected one and, and add to this this here. So. You know what? Let's do it another way. So I have this. Let's pretend that because I can clone this guy, right? Uh, I think. So if I go here now and I say contrast way up and saturation way down, that's pretty much a ambient occlusion layer, isn't it? So what you can do is here you can go like, okay take this one then and that's your ambient occlusion layer of course I faked it now it's it's not but and what you can do here is that you can uh, use this one the blending mode and you just go for that for example multiply or you go for uh, darken or overlay thing is I'm in modeler so I can't really see the change. Maybe if I was in 2019, I could have seen the change, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, that would basically be the same as uh, going like this in, uh, in Photoshop. So you have lots of uh, pretty colors there, right? And let's just smudge that out. And then you have your ambient occlusion layer. Oops, let's go like that. And go like this. So this is basically the same thing. And then you would go for darken, for example, or uh, overlay. Actually, overlay would not be the correct thing here but darken or multiply and of course you can then change the opacity and that would be your uh, ambient uh, occlusion layer on top of uh, the original color layer again you can't see the change here because this is a modeler so hopefully they fixed that I don't know but okay uh, overlay no um, darken yes so that's probably what you want 